Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. One of the things that changes from region to region in the country is the uh, grocery store chains. Now, some grocery store chains have grown and expanded and uh, gotten much more coverage than they did in the old days. But if you drive cross country or move cross country, you'll often discover, hey, there's a grocery store chain here I've never heard of before. And so uh, that's how I, for instance, discovered Publix. Publix, right? They got them uh, in Florida, but don't have them in Michigan. And so when I was growing up, one of the grocery store chains we knew about, other than the A&P store, <laughs> remember those? Um, was Kroger's. Kroger's. And of course, it's Kroger, but everyone says Kroger's, the way we say, you know, we, we had the S to everything. But Kroger, of course, is a grocery store chain, uh, and they have expanded quite a bit. But when I was growing up, I remember the Kroger that was near me, uh, and a very, very nice store. And that same store is actually still there on Maple Road in Birmingham, but it is upgraded very, very nicely uh, to where it's become like a, a, a better grocery store, if you know what I mean. So I was surprised to see the story in Business Insider that Jeffrey sent me uh, by Aiden Pollard. Kroger workers say grocery chain is pocketing their paychecks in new lawsuit. This is wage theft, plain and simple. Now, it's not Kroger workers across the entire chain. It's only Kroger workers apparently in one region. And then anytime something like that happens, you have to look at it and go, okay, why is it happening here but not here? Well, there appears to be a correlation with something else, which implies that they could fix it and makes you wonder why they haven't. So Kroger workers filed a class action lawsuit against the company, claiming the grocery chain garnished paychecks and failed to pay wages after implementing a new payroll system last year. So the allegation is that a new payroll system was brought in, and suddenly the workers' paychecks went all wonky. Uh, the lawsuit was filed about a week ago, alleges that workers were not paid for overtime, had their paychecks garnished, and in one case claims a worker was not paid throughout their entire tenure with the company. <laughs> I, I quit. You just got here. Well, I, I'm not being paid. <laughs> if true, that is extremely sad. But the other part is wages being garnished usually results because somebody has served a legal document on the paymaster someplace and said, here, this person owes us money. And of course, when that happens to you, they give you a copy of it also to explain why your wages are shorter. And so if you got a short paycheck and it says your wages were garnished, but you don't know why, there's a chance that that is mistaken. However, uh, the attorney representing Kroger workers said, these are workers who are not in a position to have their paychecks reduced. Kroger operates 2,700 stores across 35 states now, 35 states. So when I mentioned Kroger earlier and said that at one point in time, to me, they seemed regional because I'd grown up with them. There were people in 35 states going, Steve, what are you talking about? We got Kroger. <laughs> Other 15 are going, yeah, I know what he's talking about. And, you know, Piggly Wiggly. I mean, come on. Piggly Wiggly. We don't have those in Michigan. I thought somebody was pulling my leg the first time they told me there was such a thing as a Piggly Wiggly. So, uh, the suit revolves around claims of wage theft at Kroger-owned stores in Virginia and West Virginia following the implementation of the new payroll system, which is called My Time, according to the suit. I need some My Time. <laughs> Four workers named in the lawsuit claim their wages have been impacted negatively since the system was introduced last year. And keep in mind that the stores in Virginia and West Virginia uh, are where this appears to be centered. And I do know that one of the ways that Kroger expands is they will buy other stores that kind of do what they do but are branded differently. So there was a set of markets uh, I think probably four or five markets uh, in around Oakland County, Michigan, that uh, were very, very nice uh, supermarkets. And Kroger's bought them and rebranded them as Kroger stores. So that happens. More than 1,000 Kroger workers have reported payroll problems, according to a press release from the union that represents them, the United Food and Commercial Workers Local 400. That represents thousands of Kroger employees in the region and they say it affects a 1,000 that they know of because they got the complaints. Uh, and again, the union president says this is wage theft, plain and simple. 
uh, news release issued last week. When you work for an employer, you should be compensated completely and correctly for every minute you work. And if you aren't, then your employer is stealing from you. Uh, one former Kroger worker claimed in the lawsuit that she was never paid for the 80 hours of work she performed for the company during her five-week tenure there. So she put in 80 hours over five weeks, never got paid, and finally said, okay, <laughs> This ain't working out. Another employee claimed that Kroger deducted her spousal copay twice in several paychecks, leading her to lose hundreds in wages. Now, one thing that people will immediately say, Steve, if they shorted you on your paycheck, you just go to your boss and go, I got shorted and they'll pay you. That apparently is not happening here, at least not fast enough. The lawsuit claims hundreds of workers reported problems receiving proper payment, adding that Kroger is aware that the implementation of the new time, uh, My Time uh, program has resulted in underpayments to employees. Notice it hasn't resulted in overpayments. Is, 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 <laughs> am I the only person who ever notices that? They, they short you when they're giving you the money, and they overcharge you when they're taking the money. They never make the mistake the other way. Almost never. Almost never. I mean, I, yeah, I know. I've done a couple stories before. People found money in their bank accounts, for instance. But generally speaking, this payroll system gets put in place, and it's wacky and inaccurate. And it shorts the checks. Doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't lengthen them. It shorts them. <laughs> Kroger's been made aware of these issues, but has failed to correct them, according to the lawsuit. Meanwhile, the attorney and her team of attorneys working on this handling the case, hope to recover lost wages and receive damages for the Kroger workers affected. She said the lawsuit will also aim to add uh, more plaintiffs as the union continues to look for reports of wage theft on its website. So if you work at Kroger and you think this has happened to you, check. And if it has, look at this website and you might be able to get involved in this. Uh, we really just hope that we can get justice for all the workers who have been affected by this the uh, uh, lead attorney on the case said. And, you know, I think back to my first few jobs. I had a paper route, which meant that I handled my own pay, basically. I went and collected the money from the people, paid the bills, and whatever was left over, I got to keep. But the first few jobs I had where I actually punched a clock, as they say, um, do they still do that? Or is there some newfangled, like, TikTok thing you can do to check into work? I don't know. But anyways, punched the clock where I literally showed up to work. Uh, time card, ka and it went in there. And then when I went to leave, I could chunk and check out. And, you know, uh, when paid time came around, the woman who was the co-owner of the gas station I worked at would get all the time cards gathered up and she'd add up how much you worked and she'd multiply it out and then she'd do the deductions for all the money they were withholding. And then she'd, they'd, she'd cut you a check. And they were handwritten checks, handwritten checks. And I worked at several places that did that, including a couple of radio stations with time cards and somebody handwriting the checks. In fact, the number of times I had jobs where it was husband and wife owned the business and the wife got to do that kind of work uh, was at least at one gas station I worked at and was also at two radio stations I worked at. And again, if I had a problem with my paycheck, I could just walk over and say, excuse me, uh, can I ask you a question? But I never had problems like this. And I remember watching them, because a couple times I'd be there when they were filling the checks out, and I remember watching them doing all the math, withholding the FICA and all that stuff. And what a nightmare. <laughs> I just give you a headache doing that kind of math every two weeks. But here, it's a payroll system that they have put in place called My Time, and they say it's got some bugs in it, and the bugs cause your check to be short, not all the people are having this problem, but a lot of them are. And so they filed a class action. So we'll see what happens. But the big question is right now, if you're the vendor who talked Kroger into using that system, do you have a team of people over there right now trying to figure this out and straighten it out? Or are you just kind of like, well, you know, we sold one system here. Let's go sell a system not a Piggly Wiggly or Publix. Because <laughs> that'll make Steve Leto laugh on a video. So we'll see what happens. But there's a class action right now. Filed because Kroger workers say that the grocery chain is pocketing their paychecks in the new lawsuit. This is a wage theft, plain and simple, they say. Business Insider ran the story. Aiden Pollard wrote it. Jeffrey sent it to me. Thanks a lot. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. 
It's all been satirized for your protection.